these shops are really the size of a small bedroom or a very large closet. Others are going to be more spacious, but they all are gems full of hidden surprises, lots of authentic and just really gorgeous and high quality materials. And you're going to find something for the professional, the student, anything from raw canvas to the more unexpected items, which I like, like the calligraphy brushes and of course the inks. Um, I'll be taking you to a special store there at the end where you will be able to flip through a book of so many beautiful swatches, you won't believe it. So let's get going, let's get on our walking shoes and we're gonna hit these stores. So our first stop is Salvini Art Supply Store, which is in the San Marco area. You'll probably notice it if you're on your way to the Galleria Academia, which is where they have the David sculpture by Michelangelo. And I like it because it pretty much has everything that I need in one little shop. All the different, like tons of watercolors, inks, and it's just so tiny, but it's so bright. They're very helpful. Um, I've always found so many different things that I need and great brands, nice service, and it's only about a 10 minute walk from the train station. They also have a nice selection of the Schmincke uh, watercolor brand, which I really appreciate, I use often. But hands down, probably my favorite thing that I picked up there is the Amatruda paper. I discovered it uh, years ago in the shop and they always carry a nice selection. They have, it just has such a buttery, beautiful feeling and you don't find it everywhere. And so I often go there to pick up that as well as Gold Leaf by Giusto Manetti, which is um, made just out of Florence, quite near my house actually. I've run out of Gold Leaf here. I need to go back actually and pick some up. but. It's a nice brand made locally. They also have a great selection of brushes that I like. Um, oftentimes they have the Japanese calligraphy brushes, but mostly they have a great selection of raw pigments as well, which I always find amazing. I'm just amazed by, and I can always make them just lovely watercolor paints and just play around with them in my artwork. So I'd suggest you checking those out as well. Now, if we leave the shop and take our first right, we're gonna hit Flying Tiger, which is just a little chain store from the Netherlands, but they've got great inexpensive art supplies. Just a little tip there, in case you forgot yours or you just need something on a budget, it's good to, to check out, that's on Via de Serve. As also, this next stop, which is Rigacci. The store welcomes you with these incredible mosaic tiles that are just so beautiful. You feel like you're kind of in a little Harry Potter environment for artists. It's so tiny, but it's packed with just beautiful, high quality papers that are lined up along the shelves, very orderly. You have your arches, you have um, Stratmore, different brands that of course are fantastic for watercolor artists and even mixed media. I love how they keep all of their brushes in these little ceramic um, vases. And it's just a really nice atmosphere, really relaxed, but there's always in there people in there asking questions from the professional to the students. The one thing I love is just this raw canvas that's just hanging out. I mean, you don't just don't see that in any other shop. So here we are back out on the street, Via de Servi, and we're gonna make our way towards the Duomo, go around the back side of it, and we're gonna end up at Zeki, which is a historic art store on the other side of the piazza. Founded in the 1800s, it has stayed true to its motivation, which was basically to help restorers and art historians um, work on old masterpieces that need extra help um, and recovery, which actually they played a great part um, in helping uh, recuperate and repair masterpieces that were damaged in the floods. And today they still make their own brands and carry a lot of these um, older medieval type um, materials to help restorers and people that want to explore Renaissance painting styles. Uh, they keep these materials on hand. One of their biggest draws are these amazing jars of raw pigment. Some of them are um, very uh, exclusive from raw malachite and azurite. It's just a really fascinating place that combines a lot of beautiful materials in a very historic location. 
Another shop that's kind of wedged between the Duomo and Piazza Signoria is Manzani. And you might not notice, again, it's a little kind of hole in the wall shop, but they have always have a nice window display. I love peeking in just the window. They carry a lot of materials for people that like to draw, watercolor, calligraphy. It's kind of a sketchbooky, um, just more spontaneous type of arts. I didn't really notice a lot of oil paints or acrylic paints in there so much, but they do carry a lot of like pens and pencils and graphite. And I just really like it because it's so close to everything. And if you forgot something or you need a quick pencil or an eraser, they have a great supply. But one of my favorite things that they carry, which I can't find anywhere else, are these Japanese brushes and kits and ink stones. It's definitely worth drop, dropping by there if you're interested in those. But again, they have these great uh, selection of pencils and graphite. And I just, I love it. I think it's a really cute little shop to check out. Heading back over the Piazza Signoria towards the Santa Spirito area, we're going to go to my favorite shop, which is Lori Cartelleria. I know it's a little controversial because it's not... Well, they don't call themselves an art store, but it's definitely an art store. And they have all the brands that you miss from back home, or if you forgot something, or you just need to pick up some gesso or black gesso, or anything a little bit off um, that's not so traditional. They just have just lovely papers that you can spend time touching and feeling, the brushes that you want to choose. Just a wonderful assortment. And it's really unique because you can't find a lot of these brands in the quantity and the selection anywhere else in Florence. And I just, it's just my go-to place. They also have a great selection of Liquitex, which are really hard to find, as well as Daniel Smith watercolors. These I'm showing are the Mae Marie, which they also carry, but the Daniel Smith, you won't find them anywhere else. I forgot to take a video. That, my bad. And we're moving on to my little bonus material here, which is the Casa della Stilografica, where I find all of these amazing calligraphy inks that I use in my work. It's, you know, I don't use them for calligraphy, but I just mix them in with mixed media. And again, you won't find these in an art store. Looking at a few here that I picked up in the shop over, over the years. They're from different brands um, from around the world, France, Germany, Japan, and they just have an amazing selection. I can't find these in any other art stores. You really have to find these and source them in a pen shop, which it just came across like, oh, I came across it on the street, which is on Via Cavour, by the way, just up on the Duomo, and a little hole in the wall, which they are also remodeling and moving a few streets down. I'll put the address in the details of this, of this video. So again, you might not be a pen lover, but if you're an ink lover or a mixed media artist, it really is kind of cool to see this shop. It's again, it's tiny, tiny, but they have an incredible variety of inks. But I would suggest one thing and one thing for sure. If you go to the store, be sure to ask to see their book. And when I mean book, I mean the swatch book, which has samples of all of their inks in one place where you can go through it and see what they look on paper, which is such a rare treat. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find one you like and you won't be able to leave the shop without it.